Yeah, we have Eric in Virginia. Um, um, I don't know how that went down. I can't remember now. Uh, yes, he had a conversation with the, the friend situation. Uh, before we even get to that point, hold on a minute. I just need to just... Uh, four days she went for a, 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 a wedding, first of all, okay? And was and she still came back drunk. And <laughs> and still wanted to drink again. Um, <sighs> what... what, what, what? What are you thinking, guys? Talk to me. I noticed that when Virginia came back, she was a little less kind of affectionate with Eric. Mm. As those attachment issues, they yeah. will have you hot and cold all over the place. And Eric needs to understand that. Like, I think that he sort of sees her doing it with her dog, but he's not hes not understanding what that means for him. Like, what it means is the more you're clingy, the more she will push you away. The mm. more you give her space, the more she will want to be around you. So mm. that's just how Virginia came. She shouldn't have been cast on the show, but that's who she is. And so he's going to have to work within that. Talking every hour yeah, was a bit when I'm out of town or even every two hours Sir, you've got to relax. Like, I'm trying to be where I'm at. I can't be present if I'm checking in with you to tell you that, oh, I just got back to the room. Okay, I just changed. Now I'm going to eat. Okay, I just ate. Now I'm going back. Like, it's not, it's not, you're making it not fun to be with you if that, mm-hmm. if that's what you're expecting from someone. And there, and, and so I just, I think that's going to be a little rough for them. But yeah, her her drinking, when she went for four days, I guess she's a bridesmaid. So maybe she had duties. And I also think that all of her friends are like her. I mean, her dad said, you see how she is with her friends. So it seems like they all are on that same tip. So it was probably like, we're going out this night. And then we're going out this night. And then there's the wedding. And then we're going out after the wedding. <laughs> and then we're having a boozy brunch. That's mm-hmm. probably how that series of events went. Um but yeah, you know, we, we know she also said when they when his friends came over, she was like, Yeah, you know, my friends, she's the pusher. You know, we all have a pusher friend. But she's she's like, My friend said I have to stop trying to push shots on them after three shots and then I just come home and take shots by myself. I was like, mm-hmm. Ooh. Virginia, but, you're taking shots a lot that's like you basically drinking out the bottle. Baby, like you- shots alone? Multiple shots alone. I don't know who cast this season. Because Virginia, yeah, that's what I'm Virginia, the, y'all call her the drunker. But I always say from last week when she talked to Pastor Cal that she's married with single intentions. And I said that earlier. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know. I'm like, how did you guys interview her? All these things she's saying does not line up with someone that's being ma- that's married. And even Eric may be a little bit over the top. But a lot of things that he's asking from her is things that out of respect for a married person. Like you can't go sleep on a couch of another man. And even if I had a female friend as a married woman, I've been married before. It's a respect thing. If I was trying to spend a night over Natalie's house and say, I'm over Natalie's house on the couch three days a week, my husband should be concerned. Like, why are you over mm-hmm. here? It's a safety <laughs> issue. Like, okay, I'm your protector. Why are you over there? I don't know what's going on. But one night, maybe, but if she's just all over the place, she want to drink and she want to just do what she want to do. When you get to a destination, it's okay if you call your husband. Like I said, not all day. Where are you going where you got to call every hour? But if you show up at your job, like I used to work at a casino. um, And so when I go in, there's drunk people coming in. So, yeah, I'm going to call when I get in the building. Okay, hey, I made it in. So that's all he was asking. Now, if he's saying every hour, that's a bit much. But, yeah, I think um, Virginia is married with single intentions, and they did a bad job interviewing her because i'm sure this is not the first time that she said all these things where pastor kale act like it's brand new Hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i agree with both the ladies um and to piggyback off what layla said the attachment i i have written down that virginia is emotionally disconnected she has the avoidant tendencies Mm. because it seems like when eric comes in he seems very clingy very touchy-feely and she just seems to be off put by it. Like when she came in the house, when she saw him, the enthusiasm was like in, at zero. But yep. when she saw Rocky, the dog, she was like, oh my God, hey Rocky, <laughs> guess what I did this weekend? And when he mentioned, oh, are your friends coming? Yeah, my guy best friends, they're gonna be here. And her mouth is always mm-hmm. like. So then she's like, 
um, yeah, so, but then when he's like, okay, well, you know, I'm happy that we got to talk, then she kind of just goes real somber again. It's like, she just, once he talks about them two, she just deflates. And then when you bring up alcohol, the dog, or your, her guy best friends, she lights up. They're like, she's just happy as can be. So I don't think she's comfortable with the, the interaction. And I think that Eric is very much like maybe, um, anxious attached and he's just like holding on for dear life. And she's like, give me 50 feet. Just give me 50 feet. Mm, mm, I hear that. I hear that. David, it's good to have you in the chat, brother. It's good to have another brother in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that? Man, I'm, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so talk to them, bro. Talk to them, bro. What are you saying? Obviously, Virginia. Virginia, Eric, man. What, you put in the chat as well. I saw you put in the chat there. Uh, anxious avoidant kind of thing. Talk to us. Yeah. I, it, I, I just feel like it... Uh, she's immature and he's controlling so it's like the worst part of it's the worst dynamic that you could have in terms of him being like the father figure and her being the rebellious teen so then you put those two together at first they had chemistry however i think because they didn't have the stability of being able to know one another beforehand they don't have anything they don't have any other foundation like the only foundation was that chemistry and that chemistry isn't going to be able to sustain them long term. So once you have that situation now where they actually have to be able to collaborate, it's a little bit difficult because all they ever had was the chemistry. They didn't have anything else to fall back on. Now you have a situation where she wants to be more free and his controlling tendencies are now kicking in. Like, I understand wanting to wanting to check up on her to see to see if she's safe, to see if like everything's going all right. That's like a once a day thing, maybe every couple of hours, and that was okay. He thought that was okay. Like checking in on her every two hours, that's a bit <laughs> much. Um, if you just want to make sure that she's okay, that's fine. That, that's understandable. But I think he went overboard, and he's mm-hmm. he's this is him limiting himself. This is him like being able to be like, okay, uh, this is fine for you, right? This, this, you're good with this, and she's like, yeah, no. Like you, on her face, you can tell like she's not going to be comfortable with this. Mm. It's not going to work out long term because they only have chemistry, which makes me question the um, the experts and their testing and whatever they observed to see whether or not this could actually work long term or if mm. they just wanted to show. Mm. I don't know. 